Gomez and Company here as we welcome in uh, Joe Convertino Jr. from CH Insurance for our Cup of Joe this week. Joe, good morning. How are you? Hey, good morning. A little tired from from all the uh, rain activity this week, uh, Gomez. I mean, should we create a CH Insurance arc? <laughs> well, and funny because when I just dialed you up here a moment ago offline, that's how you answered the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark. It's, well, you know, when you, all kidding aside, though, in some areas, and I live in Cicero in Baldwinsville, and that's really the the corridor that got hammered pretty good, and then up through Brewerton and places like that. But seven inches of rain in Central New York is that's the kind of rain they get, like in Miami, like ahead of a tropical storm that you read about. Yeah, it's. Um, I mean, you think each year that passes. I know there was one of these last year. It might have been three inches, but. Who has heard of, I heard some places got nine inches up in, in Lysander and Beeville and that whole area, but wow. seven inches is awful, awful. Well, and it went into, um, obviously, basements and cars, so that's what I wanted to talk to you about here today, because your phone, and <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of insurance people's phone it must have been ringing off the hook over the last couple of days, because there's all kinds of questions about water damage, flood insurance, homeowners insurance. Can you break down some of that for us? Yeah, well, what's happening is, let's talk about the systems with municipalities and the counties, because, you know, I read about this a couple weeks ago, because, you know, those systems are so old and so they're, they're used to handling water that was happening 50 years ago, right, 30 years ago. But, you know, we're seeing the pump systems fail at municipality, local government levels, and what's happening it, places that never used to back up Gomez are now backing up in basements and businesses. So it's so important. We'll put flood over here for a minute. A lot of this thing we're talking about may not have been a flooding event. There was a lot of backups when, with because the sewers can't handle it. So ah. most homeowners or businesses say, ah, it's not going to happen. Just put 10,000 of backup coverage. There's always some sort of backup coverage home and business, but now people really need to take a look and work with their agent because, I mean, this is all part of climate change. We've been talking about that a little bit, and it's it's just going to keep happening. Not only that, we had tornadoes in Lewis County, tornadoes in Cortland. Okay, that's obviously a coverable cause of loss, but people just need to, to take a peek scale the onion a little bit with their policy and make sure they're working with the right agent to take a review to make sure they have the proper coverage. A uh, question from a text here, and uh, you may have seen the same story as far as the coverage from the storms and the flooding, But and I want to say it was right. in Baldwinsville, but a guy who had some uh, classic cars end up underwater because it was a lower level garage facility that he had them stored and parked in and, and the pictures that I saw yep. the water was up over the roof of the cars so those cars are ruined for all practical Oops. purposes so uh classic car insurance what would people need to know about that okay so you, you know we spoke about it for the the big auto show you guys sponsored a few weeks ago with all those classic beauty Chevys and Corvettes but most people think ah, I only drive my classic car four times a year. Okay. So there's classic car insurance that we put on different coverages, you know, more for the liability, but people, that's, it takes a comprehensive deductible Gomez. So let's just say someone bought classic car insurance and it, you're talking three, four, five hundred $500. It's very inexpensive, but in a flooding event or vandalism, okay. It would take the deductible. So if that classic car was fifteen thousand, it's underwater and it's doomed, you know. And you have comprehensive. I always tell people with classic cars, keep your comprehensive deductible. You don't may not need collision, but comprehensive covers you for water vandalism, the garage collapse, you know, things of that nature. On that note, Gomez, I had a friend text me. Their mother's car was at a car dealership, believe it or not, in Baldwinsville, okay, and the car was submerged in water. Oof. Whose fault really is that? Uh, 
I, well, I don't. I, I would say it was you know the the dealer if it was on their property, but I don't know. I'm just making that up at this point. Now, now you're right. Most people think it's care, custody, and control of the dealer, right? But that's basically for fire things of that nature. You know, this was you know water event flooding. At the end of the day, that his his mother is going to put a claim under their auto insurance. And it will pay for their claim with the car being submerged. And there's a good or bad possibility that it would be subrogated back, but it may not be paid by the dealer because of a water. Now, in that case, it was flooding over there. Wow. So it's it's just these events are happening more and more. And, And, you know, I've been in this business 25 years, my dad even longer, 40 years. We can't believe what's happening you know, across really central New York. But look what's happening now. Maui is burning right now, Gomez. I don't know if you yeah. saw that on the news. I, it, You know, fires, tornadoes. It's just, you know, that's why you have insurance and, and why, you know, I want all our listeners to work with a good agent they trust. Um, don't, you know, I hate people that deal with 800 numbers and things of that nature. Work with an agent that's going to get back to you and, you know, that's what we're all about at CH Insurance. All our staff, you know, we want to get back to people timely. Hopefully there's coverage, right? But you got to review your policies and, um, you know, keep moving forward. So that's the piece of advice this week. It was a timely call. At least the better news, Gomez, the Yankees won last night. Yeah, they did. And, and Aaron Judge had a home run. So it, that was good. Amen. It's about <laughs> time, right? He, uh he, you know, Stanton's, I'll tell you, Stanton hasn't hit, but it's, uh, we got to get a streak and, um, you know, the Yankees got to get that wild card. Yeah. The last time I checked, they were like two and a half games out or three or something like that from the, from the wild card. So, uh, you got that. And then the other bad news is golf leagues are canceled. Gomez. <laughs> I, I'm I, sure your league canceled because links yeah. that water over there is off the charts. I got to double check because I'm waiting for that to email. I will find that out here soon. But yeah, I know that uh, just wreaked havoc on on the golf courses throughout uh, throughout the area from uh, right. yesterday, and then at least today a chance to dry out a little bit. But uh, right, and with man. that on golf courses, I mean, people are going to ask, well, if leagues are canceled, is it is it loss of income? And the answer to that is no, no coverage for like. You know, I mean, the water, the flooding, you know, for a league for two days, you know, the carrier tough to, you know, you can prove it, but you're probably not going to collect. And the last piece of advice, Gomez, for businesses or personal, always know in a situation there's there's restoration companies out there. And I know you've had a few on the air, you know, property restoration, total restoration, serve pro, you know, I'm not saying have those numbers handy, but. Always know who to call when there's a major issue like we just experienced a few days ago. A lot of stuff there, a lot of info, Joe, but thanks, as always. I love the chats here. It's our Cup of Joe with Joe Convertino, Jr. from CH Insurance. And, Joe, we will see you soon. Have a great week.